This Shabbat is Yutet Kislev, the 19th of Kislev, the holiday of the liberation of the Alter Rebbe from prison. And that's a huge celebration for us, Chabad, and for all Jewish people. But what is the celebration really about? It seems, if we read the story superficially, it seems that it's about the Alter Rebbe, Rabbi Shneur Zalman of Liadi, the, the first Chabad Rebbe, that he was released from prison. That is true, that is what happened. But if we look a little bit deeper, the Alter Rebbe was arrested because of his shita, because of the movement, because of the way of thinking that he founded, the Chabad movement. So the fact that he was in prison, what was in prison, his way of thinking was in prison. And when it was liberated, what we get over here is that not only it is the Alter Rebbe that come, came out of prison, but it is the way of thinking of the Alter Rebbe that came out of prison, Anutis Kislev. And what does it mean that the philosophy of the Alter Rebbe came out of prison? What, what does that mean in actual uh, reality? What that means is that sometimes there could be an idea, an amazing idea, somebody thinks that idea, but that idea doesn't get released to the world. It's in some basement, somebody is thinking it, it's a brilliant idea, but nobody knows about it. Or that people know about it, but they're not able to ex execute it, they're not able to practice it. What it means that the philosophy came out of prison, what that means is that it became possible in the world. The world, even the Gentile world, accepted the philosophy of the Alter Rebbe. This is what the whole court case was about. So they, they delved into it, they read what it was, and they said, great, that's accepted. So the holiday of Yutaskisev is about the philosophy of the Alter Rebbe being accepted. And what does that mean for us right now? What that means is that when Yutes Kislev comes again, this major holiday, the Rosh Hashanah of Hasidus, just like we prepare for Rosh Hashanah, we're preparing for Rosh Hashanah for Hasidus, this is a time that for us also, in our personal lives, the philosophy of Jewish spirituality, of Hasidus, of the thoughts of the Tanya, of the Alter Rebbe, those ideas become again, and that Rosh Hashanah, they become free and accessible to us. The more we delve into those ideas, the more we learn Hasidus, the more we learn the Rebbe's Torah, the more the world around us is accepting it and making it possible for us to follow it. This is what Yutis Kisav is about, and therefore we should all make a decision. It's proper that we should all make a decision to strengthen the learning of Hasidus of the secrets of the Torah, each and every one of us in our own homes and wherever we are, we should learn more Hasidus. And if you need any ideas what to learn or how to learn, feel free to jot me a line and I'll give you some ideas. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.